Uh, okay. So now I can go back and talk to Amar and to the twins. Um, I want to check on Lutra. I'm just so fixated on Lutra right now just because I feel bad. I've done so many things that have just, like, made him sad. <gasps> There's new creatures? Oh. Where's Lutra? Lutra? Buddy? Are you exploring? Oh, I'm so happy for you, bud. You're looking around. That's good. You guys got new things to say? No more starlight. Only dark night. <gasps> Did Lutra eat the stars? The stars have all burned out. I've never seen it happen before. I miss them so much. I'm sorry, maybe they'll be back someday? Thanks. Me too. Oh, well, Shrimpy! What's up, Shramp? Snap. Someone there? Sorry, can't see you too well. Food's been so scarce lately. I need someone to help me catch some grub. I'd be willing to share the burrow in exchange if they want it. Maybe you could find a good candidate for me. Oh, maybe we can make him a little friend. <gasps> One of them's missing! Oh no! Guys! Um... How, what, what voice did I give them? I can't remember. Oh, they were like German. They haven't been getting many visitors lately. Or like Austrian, I guess, like Arnold. Maybe we need prettier lights. Xander's been sad lately. I know he doesn't mean it, but I wish he'd lighten up. It's kind of infectious. Hey, yeah. I don't know if you know Zubin, but uh, not too long ago I suddenly realized he was gone. I miss him. He did a lot for us. Aww. Where'd he go? Don't know if it's just me, but it seems like we're a little shorter now. Hoping it's my imagination, really. Really hoping. Hmm. Oh, look! Proto. I know what you must be thinking. How comical. But it's not true. I'm not the murderer. What? The murderer? I swear I didn't do it. Stop looking at me like that. The murderer? Oh, of the... Of those guys. Uh, what voice did I give him? Did you find anyone who can help me yet? Haven't had a bite to eat in ages. Okay. Rocky, what's up? Camo. Still a rock. Nothing's changed there. Be on your way now. Okay, fine. Wanna hear about something? I saw a big old scary slug come wandering through here. Never saw anything like it. And it went right past me, looking and sniffing all over. Definitely thought it was gonna try to eat me. But my disguise worked. It left. Pretty great, huh? All right. Never heard any of this from me. Got it? Rocks don't tell stories. I'll get lost. I don't want to be noticed. Thank you, Camo. Can't wait till I find out what you actually are. Okay, fine. Want to hear about something? Okay, we already talked about this. Skip it. Oh, cool. That's good. That's what shift's for. Are y'all okay? I'm worried now that Lutra is eating everything and, like, not being a good boy, and that makes me scared. You guys Okay. You still have little bubbles above your heads, but I think we talked to you, so we're okay. Kelp forest. Oh, little, little mushroom. There's dark places out there, but don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. Sure, there might be monsters, but beautiful things can grow in the dark, too. Don't worry about what's ahead. You'll find it when you get there. Hmm. Where's Lutra? No matter where I go, I always feel so exposed. I wish I had a little space I could fit into in case I got scared, but it's hard to find the right one. There's a shrimp out there with a burrow you might like. Oh, really? Did you talk to them? They'd be okay if I asked to stay with them. They're looking for someone to help find food in exchange for burrow space. Okay, that sounds promising. I'll go find them. Cool. Is Lutra just gone? Oh, this is concerning. This is very concerning. I don't like that at all. I need to go back and look around Lutra's place. Oh, you're the one who sent that little fish over, right? Unfortunately, things didn't work out between us. Luckily, though, I did manage to find a meal. <gasps> All's well that ends well. He murdered the fish! He ate it! I swear I didn't do it. Stop looking at me like that. He ate the fi I was worried that would happen, too. Aw, oh, what a liar. 
What a lying liar. I gotta stop trusting things. Lutra! Lutra! Poor little guy. I hope he's hanging out with somebody. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's hanging out with, like, Amar or something. Alright, let's go talk to Amar. Ooh, I'm concerned. No, I'm concerned. What's up, bud? Looking around for Lutra. <gasps> there he is! Oh, thank goodness. Hey, friend. <gasps> oh, no! Did Lutra eat everything? Did you see what Lutra's up to here in the forest? I didn't. What's going on? Oh, well, uh, sure is something. Lutra showed up in the kelp forest a little while ago, wailing about how hungry it was. And it hasn't stopped eating since it got here. I watched it chew up a huge patch of kelp all by itself, and it's already getting bigger. If it keeps this up, I to know if the forest can take that. What are we going to do if it never stops? Um, don't worry, we'll figure it out. Have you tried talking to him yet? Uh, about that. I'm too scared. I don't want to be near it when it's devouring everything in sight. It's silly, I know, but maybe you could go instead? Um, I'll see if he wants to talk. Yeah, no, for sure. Whew, thanks so much, friend. You know, you sure are dependable. I really appreciate all the help. Be careful and let me know what happens. Oh no! Lutra's got the hunger. He killed everything, like look, there's no fish left here. Lutra! How could you? Lutra, can you hear me? This one has greatest hunger. Eating must continue. You need to stop soon. You can't eat the whole forest, okay? Familiar one does not understand. Change arrives very soon. Greatest hunger cannot be ignored. All right, I see. But you'll have nothing left if you eat all the kelp in the forest. This one does not plan to eat all plants. Eating will continue only until greatest hunger is gone. Other creatures need the plants too. If you eat most of the kelp, there won't be enough left for them. This one cannot consider others now. Only greatest hunger matters. But others are important. They can help you, like when the furry one taught you about different futures. Remember that? This one does remember. Familiar one is right. This one must not eat too many plants. But greatest hunger still remains. What will this one eat? Will this one eat? Starve. No way. I'm gonna figure something out. You wait right here. I won't be long. Oh boy. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Are you guys all terrified? I bet you are. Alright, let's talk to uh, Amar, and then I think I need to go talk to Alethia and be like, you need to give me something to feed this thing. Hey again, friend. Uh, any luck talking to Lutra yet? Yeah, I was able to talk with it for a bit. Da, great! How did it go? It was tough, but I convinced Lutra to stop eating all the kelp. Really? Oh, wow, what a relief. I knew you could do it. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. He's still starving. I'm not sure what to do about that. Ah, yeah, that's a tough one. If not even the whole forest has enough food for Lutra, where's it gonna come from? Maybe Alethia could help us out. She studied Lutra in the past. Yeah, that's a thought. Well, I'll leave that up to you, friend. I think you've, uh, got a better working relationship with her than me. Good luck. I'll let you know how it goes, Amar. See you soon. Could you talk to Lutra while I'm gone? Maybe try and distract it from eating any more kelp? Yes. I, well, I don't really want to, friend, I, but if there's a chance I can help you protect the forest, I'll give it a shot. Even though it's scary. Thanks for the help, Amar. We'll get through this together. Alright. I need to go talk to Alethia, hardcore. Still working on it. Okay. Oh, boy. Lutra! Oh, poor Lutra! I feel so bad for him, and yet, like, obviously this was kind of inevitable with the type of creature that he is. Let's go talk to the twins. And then we're going to go talk to Alethia, because the twins, uh, I've been needing to talk to them for a bit. Alright, sounds like he has it. Oh, there's a way more fish here now. Oh, you got another mission for me? Or you got oh, look at all these guys! <gasps> what? Poison fan. Lord Poison! Lord Poison! Lord Poison! Lord Poison! Oh, hi. You're just in time. I know you already heard my song before, but it's been a while. Want to hear it again? Yeah, let's do it for the audience. Let's go for it. You ready? Cool. Let's do it. Such and remains! The distance wide! A pile of long lost memories! The poles may break! 
You have to save me quick by throwing up a world of us. Thanks for listening, everyone. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Listen to him squeak. That's so cute. Oh, all hail Lord Poison. I just got an achievement that said that. Oh my goodness. Where are the twins? Must be up top somewhere. Y'all, all this is starting to really spook me out, man. Oh boy. I just hope that, like, I haven't done more damage, you know what I mean? Sup, little dude? I am so buff. Look at that shadow. I'm the biggest crab there ever was. <laughs> it's a little bit scary even how big I am. Aren't you scared? Oh, tough. What's your name? Drift. Did we just meet? Have we always known each other? Whoa, when you're connected to the whole world, it's like everything's happening all at once. Ever wonder what it's like to be a rock? Or a kelp leaf? Or a grain of sand? Well, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. I want you to meet Camo. Camo's like a rock. But he wasn't a rock. He was a rock. Lobster! Alright, well there's the twins. Oh, look at this little guy. <gasps> You're so cute. Misty. Everyone acts like they're all grown up, but really, we're all just children. Deep. Whether we feel grown up or not, sometimes we just need a spot of silliness to lift our spirits. You are wise beyond your years, we won. What up, chill? I keep wondering if I should go talk to the turtles. But is it going to disturb their perfect peacefulness if I try to get close? I gotta think about it some more. Go for it, girl! I think I'm good just watching the turtles for now. Alright. Sup, twins? Oh, they're playing with the turtle. Hey, new friend. Sometimes we come here when we're feeling lonely. Doesn't always make us feel any better, but I think it's working this time. Want to talk about something? Sure. How did things go with Althea's lab? Althea's lab. It was fun! Althea let us use lots of different tools. We looked at the stuff she found under her microscope so we could see all the gross details. Yeah! Or no, yeah! And then we got to use a few other really cool things, like the heaters and the, um, uh, the ones that make other stuff get all electrified. There's a lot of tools in there. It's hard to remember all their names. Awesome! I'm glad you had a great time. Yeah, it was pretty great, but... We wanted to tell you about one other thing, because it's kind of weird. Um, we didn't mention it yet, but... Alethia wanted to help us because she did us some favors before, and, well, one reason we kind of didn't want to go back is because of what we saw. What did you see? Well, we were outside the lab, and we saw Alethia with a fish. Maybe one who lived nearby? Yeah, and, like, Alethia had some kind of device. We couldn't see it too well. But she pointed it at the fish, and the fish just disappeared. It never came back. Whoa. It was really weird. I don't know why she would have done that. I guess maybe it was some kind of experiment, but was that fish really okay with it? And where did it go? Yeah, it made us really upset, new friend. We just thought you should know. I agree, that sounds pretty strange. Thank you for telling me. No problem. Want to talk about something else? I'm going to ask you about someone. Lutra. Oh boy. Oh boy. You guys have no idea. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, have we... There's a couple other things up here to talk to. We gotta talk to those seahorses. We gotta talk to, uh... Some other group of fish over there somewhere. What up, seahorses? You still dancing? What a perfect moment. I hope you're as happy as me right now. Maybe this won't last forever, but let's not think about that. Right now, it's exactly what we need. Could this be the dance that never ends? Let us see, my love. Have we reached the stars yet, my love? <laughs> right, what do we got over here? Oh, it's a meeting of the crabs. Oh, urchins! Normally my friends get pretty ornery with strangers, but they've been in a great mood lately. I feel like something's changed around here. Not quite sure what it is, but I think it's for the better. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, you, yeah, you! Keep your distance, please! Don't want you to get hurt by these big pokey spines, after all. Okay, Spike, thanks for looking out for me, buddy. Hold it right there! Sorry, just making sure you don't get poked. It's for your own good. Barb, all their, are there all their names puns on getting uh, spiked? Lance, 
Hey, you were gonna mess with us just then, weren't you? Nah, I'm just kidding. There's a little gag. Look out for yourself out here, though. I know what I gotta tell you what to do. You see the spikes. You know what's up. You get it. They say there's some kind of ripple effect with how you treat folks. Not like actual ripples, it's a metaphorical thing. Just a theory. Maybe there's something to it. I'm learning that, y'all. Did you hear me before? I was pretty loud. I won't shout at you again, but seriously, don't touch the spikes. Ah, careful! Don't forget about the spines, buddy! S -s -s they are cute. Alright, we have talked to everyone. We need to go talk to Alethia. Oh boy, y'all. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Alethia's doing weird things to fish. Lutra's eating everything, which we kind of were afraid was going to happen anyways. I think maybe, though, like, part of that could be because, like, I... I think he lost a little trust with me because of the times that I was too trusting. Good to see you again! Anything you'd like to talk about? Did you find any connection between the samples and the signals from the deep ocean? As a matter of fact, yes. All my tests suggest the signals and the organic debris came from the same place on the ocean floor. I believe some kind of electromagnetic pulse occurred down there, sending the signals and debris far and wide. My readings also indicate that whatever the source is, it's capable of generating huge amounts of energy. Such a power supply would be indispensable if I could harness it. It might be just the breakthrough I need. So what's the ne next step? Good question! But in order to give you an answer, I need to explain a few things. You may have wondered why I'm so driven in my research. There are wondrous things here in the ocean, yes, but there's more to it than that. Have you ever noticed that our world almost never changes? Think about the kelp forest or the coral reef. These places are exactly as they've always been. No one can remember a time when things were different. And no one ever leaves. I fear we are all trapped here in a sort of endless dream or illusion. If there's a purpose to this place, none of my research has given me any clues so far. I want to learn the truth about the ocean, my friend. I have plans now for an overhaul of this lab that will vastly increase my data gathering capabilities, but the new energy demands will far outstrip what the solar sail can currently provide. So why uh, that's why you need this energy source in the depths. Correct! You might recall that your teleporter is one of my old prototypes. I could modify it to enable transport to the energy source. I know its exact coordinates from tracing the signals during my studies. If you might be willing to help me. Perhaps you can investigate the source and report back with what you find. It's a big ask, I know. But with your help, I could get so much done on my equipment upgrades in the meantime. What do you say? Sounds good, I'm in. Splendid, I'm so glad to hear it. I'll modify your teleporter right away. It'll only take a moment. That's what I'm wondering if with the fish, if she teleported the fish and that's what they saw. There, all set. I've outfitted the teleporter with some basic data sensors as well, so we can examine those readings when you get back. Thank you, my friend. I can't wait to hear about your new findings. Uh, the cup force in trouble. I was wondering if you could get your help. Oh, what kind of trouble? Well, Lutra left the moss cavern for the forest to find more food, and it was eating huge amounts of kelp. I was able to stop it, but it's still very hungry. Goodness! That does sound like a potential crisis. Has Lutra also grown bigger by any chance? Yeah, we both noticed it's larger. Just as I thought. I bet it's getting ready to start its metamorphosis. My studies of Lutra suggest this would happen sooner or later. It's eating all this food to fuel the amazing transformation that will soon take place. Fascinating, but is there any way we can stop it from devouring the whole forest? Right, right. Certainly we don't want that to happen. Well, it seems to me that Lutra was meant to feed on something else once it was done with the ferns. Perhaps if we could give it something more nutritious, it wouldn't have to eat so much. Hmm. Do you know anything, or could you enhance the ferns? Let's see if you heard of anything. Well, come to think of it. I did once find a strange plant in the mid-seas with large edible fruits. These fruits were unusually nutrient-dense. The problem is, I'm not such a pl uh, sure such a plant would contain the right nutrients for Lutra. However, I might be able to create a crossbreed that combines the best qualities of the ferns and the nutritious fruits. Ideally, a small number of these hybridized plants would sustain Lutra for the rest of its feeding frenzy. Let's do it. Unfortunately, I can't have these new plants ready immediately. I have machines that can speed up the growth process, but it's still going to take some time. While we're waiting on that, is there any danger Lutra will go back to eating all the kelp? I think it'll be okay. It seems to understand the importance of not eating everything in the forest now. Good! I'll get to work then. The plants will be delivered to the kelp forest as soon as they're ready. Thanks so much, Alethia. I don't know what we'd done without you. Not a problem, my friend. I care about Lutra. I want it to do well. I don't know how it ended up in the ocean, but I don't think it chose to be here. So I'm happy to help make our world more habitable for it. Shall we talk about something else? Um, I would love to talk to you about you uh, doing things with, with to fish. Hmm. 
She, I can't even ask her the questions. Well, it's good to know. I'm thinking that she probably teleported a fish, and that's why they were like, and then it just disappeared, you know? But, um, hmm. It is a bit concerning. It's a bit concerning. So, yeah. I can now teleport to the depths, is what I'm learning. Um, oh boy. I think I need to go see Amar. I need to know what's going on with Lutra now. And to let him know that Alethia is going to try and help and all that. Oh. Oh, yay! Fisher back! Oh, Fisher back! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, hey, friend! Whew, I'm not sure this happened since you were here last. Tell me everything, man. Well, I don't know if you've had to look around the forest yet, but it's in pretty good shape, buddy. We lost the kelp that Lutra ate when it first got here, but other than that, there's almost nothing else missing. Once you left to talk to Alethia, I did my best to keep Lutra from going on another rampage. And... It actually listened. Probably because you already got it stopped before. <laughs> but hey, maybe I helped a bit, huh? After a little while, Alethia showed up. It was pretty wild, friend. She brought a ton of plants with her. Stuff I've never seen anywhere else before. Lutra went totally crazy for the new plants. You should have seen it. Just when I thought it might never stop eating, it was finally full. And I headed back to the moss cavern like nothing ever happened. Oh, thank goodness. Since then, I've been busy making the rounds in the forest. Some folks were a little rattled, of course, but everyone seems to be okay. Friend, it's kind of a miracle. Nothing worse happened. Things worked out because we all worked together, yeah? I don't know how I can even thank you. But thanks so much anyway. Of course, Amar, I'm really glad things went so well. Kind of amazed myself. You said it. Want to talk about something else? Um, I gotta go, bro. This, oof. Man. Thank goodness. Now, is Lutra here? No, he, he headed back. He headed back. That's right. So I should go check on him. I bet he's all... Oh, what up? Raul. Rollin, rollin, rollin. You think if I keep practicing my roll, someday I'll roll right into your heart? Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? I, I mean, don't mind me. Just working on some self-improvement. But watch out. One day my roll will really impress you. Rollin, rollin, rollin. So, who are you? Raul. <laughs> I mean, uh, don't mind me. Just working on some self-improvement. But watch out. One day I'm going to impress you. That's so great. Your role is improving. Ha ha! Soon I'll be irresistible. Uh, so, small tangent. In uh, in American schools, at least when you learn a new language, they give you a uh, a name in that language, right, to use. So uh, usually it's some version of your name that that language has. But because my name is Price, you know, it's a little bit of a tricky one. So they gave me the name Raul, not spelled that way. When I was learning Spanish, um, I was it was R A U L. I was Raul. That was my name in Spanish class. Anyway, so, what up, Raul? I know you. I guess that's spelled like Raul, but I think it's still probably Raul. Oh, what up, angry swordfish who hates dolphins? I know I'm only torturing myself, but I still can't get that dolphin out of my head. Hey again, nothing new over here. Definitely not concerned about what any dolphins think of me. What up, Flip? Oh, hello again. Say, I was thinking about a way to repay the swordfish for their kind interest. Maybe you could tell them I said their bladed snout is truly impressive? Sure. Wonderful. Thank you ever so much. Let me know what they have to say after that. Aw, they're going to be friends now? Hey again. Nothing new over here. Definitely not concerned about the dolphins. Oh, of course. Just like a stupid dolphin. D d wait, wait a second. Truly impressive? My bladed snout? That's what they said. W w well then, uh, I mean, th that's embarrassing. But it was still nice of them, I guess. Tell the dolphin I said thanks. I can do that. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Hi there. The swordfish seemed very flattered. I think he made a new friend. Oh, but the swordfish and I were already so close. Well, I guess we're even closer now. That makes me happy. Thanks again for your help. That is so cute. A truly impressive snout was an achievement I just got. Huh. I guess dolphins aren't so bad. Aww, they're friends now. Yay. I think the swordfish and I have a bright future ahead of us. And it's all thanks to you. Aww. Cute. What up, Dizzy? Zam. I keep telling people the rule, but they won't listen. It's killing me. Everyone should follow the rule. It's good for them. Hey, you remember what it is, right? Always have fun. Darn right. <laughs> so great. So great. Who down here? <gasps> Another swordfish. Hey, I don't think I know you. That's weird. I never miss a party out there. Who invited you, huh? 
No one. I'm here myself. I go to all the parties too. I don't need an invite. I brought tasty snacks. Uh, I'm here myself. Lane, you're just a party crasher then. Good luck finding anyone to talk to. Uh, so who invited you again? I got all the parties. So I don't need an invite. Oh, of course. Yeah, I remember you now. We party go. We should stick together. Don't go too far, okay? What happens if I tell you I brought snacks? I brought tasty snacks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it doesn't matter how you got here then. Good job thinking ahead. Bring them on in. <laughs> That's great. This isn't a cave, is it? No, okay. Whoop. Who's over here? I love the party stuff. Oh, another urchin. Shade. This is my perfect spot. Everyone should have one. And if you have a perfect spot, why ever leave? I'm still here, of course. That's because it's my perfect spot. Do you have one yet? <laughs> I don't, but I don't. Ooh, another tea cucumber. Cucumba. Dive. You gotta believe in yourself. That's a lesson I learned back in the day. But listen, don't forget to question yourself once in a while. Doesn't mean you have to change your mind. Just be open to the possibility of it, you know? He's right. You're right, Dive. How's it going? Don't forget to question yourself, my friend. But I bet you've already given it a try by now, right? You know it. All right. Hey, are y'all getting close? Whoa, look at all the fish together now. How can we be like you, Flash? So we got Flash fans. Oh, man, they're going to have fan groups now. I wonder if I got to figure out who I should tell Thrill to go follow. Um, hey, buddy. Good to see you. How you been? As you can see, I'm a bit busy. Just pass it on some wisdom. We're full up right now, but maybe we'll have room for you later. All right, all right. What up, fans? Teach us to be like you, Glitter. Teach us to be like you, Glitter. Greetings, darling. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you're well. I'm afraid our class is full at the moment, but we may have vacancies sometime in the future. <laughs> Do take care. Did you know Flash is teaching a class too? You mean the one who thinks they're the life of the party? Preposterous. Don't even think about trying to learn anything from them. You'll end up knowing less than when you started. <laughs> the audacity. Now here's how you achieve maximum cool. Let's go. See you around. Alright, so here's how to make it big without even breaking a sweat. Did you know Glitter's teaching a class? Oh, you mean the so-called other life of the party. Wow, they just never give up, huh? Guess that's how it is when you got everything figured out. Always gonna be imitators. But that's no problem for you, right, buddy? Oh, I know you know the difference. Okay, what up? Thrill. Hey, this place isn't what I was looking for back when you told me about it, but I feel like it's given me a new perspective on things. Thanks for telling me about it. Maybe it's not really a party I needed, but a way of feeling more connected with the world around me. Ooh, deep. Okay, I think we've talked to everybody around here. Yeah, we're at 10 to 10. Let's go check out Lutra. Like, I don't even want to go into, like, the other area until I've already done all this and, like, seen... <gasps> Metamorphosis. New pages in Coral Reef. Okay. Lutra, is, is that you in there? Mm, familiar one arrives. Yeah, it's me. I came to check on you. There was dreaming before familiar one returned. This one thought dreaming might never end. Great change has begun. I can see that. You look pretty impressive. How do you feel? Is it going all right so far? This one misses seeing familiar one. All is dark now. Cannot see familiar one. Cannot see anything. This one has much, much fear. This one does not understand great change. What, what will happen to this one? I don't know, we'll just wait and see. Hey, it's okay, Lutra, I'm here. You're gonna be just fine. This is not known, but this one still has gladness because familiar one is here. Also, this one knows new things now. New things came in dreams. First thing this one saw is that during the greatest hunger, familiar one spoke with device using one to decide how to help this one. This one has much happiness about that. I helped because I was worried about you, Lutra. I'm glad it turned out okay. Thankfulness. But there are other new things. Second thing this one saw is that when two that are one dropped rock on this one, familiar one spoke to two that are one after and told them trying to harm this one not favorable. This one did not know. Much thankfulness. 
You're welcome, Lucha. I think the twins and I both learned a lot from that. Maybe you did too. This one also saw a third new thing. Two that are one have crystal. Crystal shows them things far away, things familiar to them. Does familiar one know this? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Did you see anything else? No, I didn't know that. Maybe you shouldn't tell me anything more about it. Hmm. This concerns me. I don't want to betray their trust. Maybe you shouldn't tell me anything more about that. This one understands. No more thoughts shared about this, then. This one will only share one more thing that was seen, and that is device using one wants to find something. Thing device using one wants is in deepest, darkest place. Does familiar one know? Yes, I know about Alethia's research on the seafloor. This one tried to see what was in the dark place. Something stopped this one. Only darkness was seen. If familiar one goes to that place, this one thinks greatest caution should be used. I see. Thank you, Lutra. I'll be very careful. There are other things that this one saw in dreams, but this one can feel all things slipping away. Lutra, hang in there, okay? It's gonna be all right. Lutra, this one would not have had name without familiar one. This one had much fear about great change, but familiar one helped much. Now, this one only fears that familiar one will not be remembered by this one. After great change, will this one's memories disappear? Lutra, don't worry. Even if they do, I'll tell you everything that happened and you'll have them back again. This one has greatest thankfulness. Words of familiar one changed everything for this one. This one will never forget you. Oh, Lutra! Oh, Lutra. I hope it, everything turns out okay. I'm glad that he saw the goodness, right? That when we tried to help and stuff. Oh, man. Wow. That was a change I was not expecting. Okay. We've got new pages in the reef. We've got stuff we can talk to Alil about. I think I'm going to head back. Let's talk to Alil again.